Hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to connect the remote server of MySQL database which is PHP MyAdmin using ASP.NET MVC file for this example I'm creating a new project file new project I'm choosing ASP.NET web application .NET framework and the version 4.6.1 and the project name is MySQL Connect. <laughs> Click OK. Click OK. After creating the project successfully, go to Solution Explorer, expand the reference. By default, ASP.NET Visual Studio does not contain the MySQL database libraries not available in the references. We need to import those references. So, right click the MySQL Connect, Manage Nugget Packages, click on it. Go to Browse. and type here mysql and here is the adwo.net driver for mysql click on it and install click ok I accept the terms and conditions And here we got the message in the output window successfully installed mysql.data dll package to mysql connect close this readme.txt go to solution explorer expand the references and here we got our new reference library mysql.data dll package minimize the references and close this one also I'm expanding the views in the home folder I'm deleting the home folder default one and as well as the controllers I'm expanding I'm deleting the home controller I'm adding a class in the models folder add class MySQL class add and MySQL class will create the properties before adding the properties let's log into my GoDaddy MySQL database which is PHP MyAdmin we'll check the table and the column names I'm logging to my GoDaddy MySQL server. I just logged into my GoDaddy remote server PHP MyAdmin database and MySQL DB is a user database. I'm expanding that. For this example, I'm choosing employee table. Let's browse this employee table. Uh, right now in this employee table contains four rows, first name, last name and city. And this employee table I want to display on the browser. Let's switch back to the coding part. We'll finish the rest of the code. Public string first name get set copy. I need three properties one is a first name the second one is a last name and the third one is the city after adding these properties go to solution explorer and the controllers right click right click the controllers add the controller I'm choosing MVC5 controller empty add the controller name is 
my SQL controller click add in my SQL controller the first thing we need to add the namespaces using my SQL connect which is my project name dot models and the other namespaces are to connect the database using system dot data using system dot configuration using mysql dot data dot mysql client after adding this namespaces in the action result index page list in this I'm adding mysql class CLS class list one is equals to new list mysql class i just created an object for this list i enumerable class after that string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings In between the double quotes i'm adding my sql connection my SQL connection is my database name and my connection strings I have stored in the web.config file dot connection string my SQL connection my SQL is equals to new my SQL connection which takes a parameter of main connection string string query is equals to in this query I am writing the select statement select star from employee table my SQL command com is equals to new my SQL command which takes a parameter of the select statement which is a query Investing here, com dot connection is equals to my SQL my SQL dot open method my SQL data reader dr is equals to com dot execute reader method while dr.read method list one dot add method at new mysql class let's close this now I'm adding the properties of my SQL class the first property is a first name is equals to dr between the double quotes I'm adding my table column names which is a first name dot two string method comma the second parameter is a last name is equals to I'm copying this and paste here the second column name is a last name the third parameter is a city is equals to city and in the return view I need to add the list one SQL dot close the connection string let's build the solution build succeeded up to now we have created the mysql class and the controller now we need to create the index page which is a view page the final step 
let's highlight this action result index right click add view the view name index leave it as it is and the template empty the model class is mysql class this one mysql class add now here we got the view index.cshtml file first thing in the index.cshtml we need to add the list i enumerable class in the models i enumerable close this one after that between the body i'm deleting the default div tags just for the time consuming I already created a table I'm pasting here and I just pasted the table in the body and this table contains table headers first name last name and city and to display the results in this TR and I have and I'm using for each loop method in the for each loop my SQL connect dot models dot mysql class details in, in model in this 3d at details dot the first name at details dot last name and the last one is the at details dot city that's it we have done everything let's build the solution here we got the build succeeded and the one important point is we need to configure the root dot config file go to solution explorer expand the app underscore start the route config.cs and notice here in the controller this is a home which is a default one we have deleted instead of home I am using mysql controller mysql and the action is the index page only which is this page let's build the page again go to index.cshtml here build succeeded now let's check the results in Google Chrome browser and here we got the output of the employee table from my SQL server database that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos